Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. Uh, been a while since I made a video. Had a lot on my mind. Been real busy. I had much time. Uh, been under the weather this weekend so I took some time off. And uh, I'm going to make this video. I was uh, wanting to make a video for a while. But I had so many topics I didn't know which one to choose or what to talk about. And now it's like everywhere. There's so many things happening in this world now. So many troubling and confusing things. It's it's hard to keep your sanity with all that's going on. Uh, but in my case, I can handle it because I lost my sanity years ago. So I had a friend put up a video a while back. I'll put a link below. And uh in it he asks a question and talks a bit very interesting video uh, he asks the question if Russia was to invade the United States say the government and go in there and take over the capital and arrest the president and arrest the Bushes and arrest all these criminals in our government you know if Russia invaded the United States which side would you be on funny question that here lately it looks like Russia is taking the higher ground however I answered his video and I would take neither side I will fight for my friends and family with whoever is fighting for our freedom uh, I don't see Russia fighting for our freedom any more than I'd see our own government, which is doing its best to take our freedoms from us. Turn them over to the United Nations, I suppose, who uh, sees a lot of us as the enemy because of our beliefs. Funny thing, though, you look at who is in charge of these governments. Everybody says, oh yeah, Obama and ours and Putin over there. The truth is far from that. They both have owners. They both have keepers. They both have men behind the scenes telling them what to say and what to do. And the funny thing about that, those men all work for the same people who control it all. Why all this trouble in the Middle East and Syria? Mostly because uh, they saw an opportunity to turn the world against each other, to have a conflagration in the Middle East, turn Christian against Muslim, Muslim against the world, Muslim against Muslim. All these things are part of their plan to control the resources of that area as well as wipe out the populations of those areas who are in the way. And many of those governments, such as Assad, were not wanting to play ball with them on either side. Otherwise, why hasn't Russia already intervened in Syria and took out the rebels? Especially if they're the ones behind the chemical attack. And it's because they don't want to. They want the attack to continue. They're playing both sides against the middle here, people. And we're the victim. All these big shots have their holes to go hide in while they kill the rest of us off. I would choose neither side. I'm not on either side now. I happen to think that the government now in charge of this country is illegal, illegitimate, and it, the evil empire, you might say. They don't listen to us. We have, what, two criminals to choose from every four years to make king for four years? 
and then we don't get any say of what they do afterwards. You know, we elect them on the promises. We hope they continue to fulfill these promises. But uh, my memory tells me that there's only been one president since Kennedy, which has fulfilled his campaign promise. And they impeached him and sent him off in, uh, you know, less than cordial terms. He wasn't a good man either, but he's the only one, Nixon, was the only one since Kennedy to fulfill a campaign promise. Kennedy wasn't able to. They killed him before he could. But he warned us and he told us what the enemy was dark, secretive organizations which manipulate the masses into doing what they want. The same people paying to put fluoride in our drinking water, GMOs in our fields, in our food, who made TEPCO, who made all the nuclear reactors all around this world, most of which are dilapidated and in danger of falling apart too. All they need is just one little incident and they're no better than Fukushima. Yet, instead of shutting these places down and doing things they can, getting the world together to fight this problem and solve it and find better ways of producing energy, they continue with the same madness against our wishes. It's obvious whose side they're on not a people's. I don't see either government Russia or America serving the people. I see any time you put a man and give him power over other people, he's going to use it for his own benefit over all the others. Oh, he might do some good things so everybody will praise him. But in the end, it's self-serving. Power corrupts. And no one knows that better than the ones who buy them, pay for them, put them in those places of power. You know, they have more power. Now, we can all be upset and go out and attack the one percenters out there, which would be a waste of time. Um, they're divided too, you know. They are human and they do have a lot of power. And each of them are greedy, covetous bastards. So you can't expect any good from any of them. But you know they're going to do some good because they want praise as well as anybody else. They do things in secret. But something tells me things that are done in secret are eventually revealed in public. These crimes are coming out. But the people are too, uh, already been too dumbed down. What's the other word I'm trying to think of? They don't give a damn. They become too numb by it. We had 12 years of constant warfare. Twelve years of one right after another being destroyed, removed, set aside for homeland security. Are you more secure now? Do you feel more secure now than you did before 9-11? I don't. I'm in constant concern of a knock on my door, or actually the door being kicked in at three in the morning. For what reasons? Hmm. Many, actually. I speak out against the government. I speak out against Obama. That's right there. There's enough reason for them to put me on the list. Yeah, I still smoke. Get over it. Try to stay calm. The news is very disheartening. 
but we need to stay informed. But oftentimes, it isn't what we're afraid of that gets us something that blindsides us, something we didn't see that comes around and smacks us inside the face, inside the head, that gets us. All this other stuff is distraction, distraction from the truth, distraction from our real need, and that is for a closer understanding and relationship with the Creator. That should be enough for all of us. Men should be able to govern themselves, to find their own destiny. We should all be free. I guess I'm done. Peace, love, and understanding to you all. Have a good day.